So if we look here, number two, it says what is the concentration of the hydroxide ions in a 0.18 molar NH2OH solution? And it says what is the percent ionization? They gave us the Kb for NH2OH, which is 1.1 times 10 to the negative 8. Let's use that formula that we talked about. Again, that little trick, right? And again, what was that trick? It says hydroxide ion concentration is equal to the square root of the Kb times the concentration of the weak base, which in this case is the NH2OH. Okay, let's plug everything in then. So hydroxide ion concentration is equal to the square root of the Kb, which is 1.1 times 10 to the minus 8. And then what? Multiply that by the concentration of this weak base, which is 0 0.18 molar. Then what do you get? The hydroxide ion concentration is equal to this. And again, why do we assume it's just 0.18? Because we assume that the x is insignificant, right? So what do we get? 1.1 second e to the negative 8 times 0.18. And then we're going to square root that. And we're going to get 4.45 times 10 to the negative 5. So we get out of this 4.45 times 10 to the negative 5. And this is in molarity. So that's our hydroxide ion concentration, that part right there. If we want to, we could also get the pH. Let's go ahead and just find the pH. So how would you do this? You get pOH, right, is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration, which is 4.45 times 10 to the negative 5. So this is going to give us somewhere around, you know, 4 point something. Let's go ahead and plug this in here. Negative log of this bad boy. And we get 4.35 as the pOH, sorry. So pOH is 4.35, but if we do pH, it's just 14 minus 4.435. So let's do 14 minus 4.435, and we get 9.65. So out of this, we get 9.65. So that's our pH. All right, now, how do I know that that hydroxide concentration is the right answer? Here's how I have to do it. I'm going to do that, you know that 5% rule that I've been teaching you guys over and over and over again? It's the percent ionization. So percent ionization, the formula actually is written like this. Usually it could be for acid or for base. So for in base in this case, I do the hydroxide ion concentration at equilibrium. I'm going to write that with EQ over the initial concentration of my weak base, I'll put IN, times 100. So what is this then? Let's write it in here. OH concentration is, at equilibrium, 4.45 times 10 to the minus 5 over the initial concentration of my weak base, which is 0.18 molar. This is molar. And then I'm going to multiply this by 100. And I said that this rule, if it's less than 5%, that means that that x that we blasted out of there and assumed was 0, that means that this rule works, right? It's also going to give me the percent ionization. So it's it's a positive thing. So I'll get two things in one, right? So 4.45 second e to the negative 5 divided by 0.18. And what do I get? I, and I'm going to multiply it by 100, sorry. I get 0.025%. 0.025%. And what is that again? That means two things. One is it gives me the percent ionization, which also helps me to determine how strong of a base this is. If I compare percent ionizations of different bases, I can tell how strong one base is compared to another. But it also gives me that 5% rule. If that number is less than 5%, that means that that x that we got rid of, that means it's 0. It's insignificant. This rule works. If it's greater than 5%, that means that that x is not 0. It is a significant number. And you have to do the quadratic formula or that trick I taught you guys. OK? So that's how you do this problem. So what did we find here? We found the percent ionization. We found the pH. We found the pOH. And we found the hydroxide ion concentration. OK? All right, engineers, I hope all this made sense. I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to talk about titrations of strong acids and strong bases.